If you take a close look at guys like Ja Rule, you'll see that they walk with a crutch. In his case, it was the image of a gangster. He took DMX's flow, dressed up like Tupac, and tried to rap about other people's lifestyles. It worked for a second, but as I said, when you're walking with a crutch, there's a limit on how far you can go. Ja grew up as a Jehovah's Witness on a better side of Queens than I did. The only time he came to my part of town is when he would knock on the door and try to sell copies of the Watchtower. A nice religious boy, there's nothing wrong with that. But the people around him, like Irv, tried to turn him against his true nature as a gentle guy and transform him into a gangster. Instead of accepting his blessings, his talent for fun, female-oriented music, they were hell-bent on turning him into something negative. When they got a record deal with Def Jam, what did they call it? Murder Inc. Records. They had an open road in front of them, but they decided to paint themselves into a dangerous corner. Since none of them were actual murderers, they started seeking out people who had that energy. They eventually found what they were looking for, and it almost brought the whole company down. That's what ruined Ja Rule's career. If you take